Welcome, welcome all of you. I am so excited to be doing this here with you all, and thank you so much. Thank you for uh, gracing us with your time. Time is very precious, and I am so glad that you could take out an hour of your time, and you are here learning, wanting to learn more about this modality. So welcome everyone, and uh, this is an introduction to EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques. This is a very, very special, a very powerful technique, which is very, very close to my heart. It's been almost 10 years that uh, I have used this for myself. I have used this in groups. I have used this with my clients. And I am all the time so amazed uh, with the results I get. So here I am uh, wanting to share a little bit about this amazingly profound yet extremely simple technique to learn for your own self and for your own personal development, for your own personal growth, for your own personal healing. So welcome everyone. Uh, I will uh, once again just share this, that the session today is being recorded. However, there's a spotlight that is uh, on me. So if you guys are comfortable, uh, you can switch on your videos so that I am able to see you. It's okay, just be comfortable. If you don't want to come uh, you know, on camera, that's, that's fine too, no worries. So just uh, settle down and uh, perhaps in a minute or so we can begin. Hi there. So nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Happy to be there. <laughs> Lovely. I'm so glad. All right. So let's begin. Like I was asking you all, uh, you do you have any prior experience to EFT? Hi. Hi, Artha. So any prior experience with EFT? Do you have you read about it? Just yes. feel free. Yeah. Yes, uh, in uh, my uh, training, my course for hypnotherapy, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. In level uh, level two, yeah. Absolutely, yes. That's exactly where even I was first introduced to EFT, so great. That's exactly where my love for it began. Yeah. Uh, so, Gren, what what do you know about it? How do you understand EFT? I understand it that it's uh, about the theory of mind. Uh, the, when you have a thought with your perception, it's uh, turned into emotion and uh, mm -hmm. this energy can up your vibration or down it and the impact can be physical after. So I use it for myself, for my friends and my, my, uh, my kids too, and they like it. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> How lovely. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, EFT with kids works like a miracle and they love it because, you know, it involves a lot of activity. So wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Is it Mariam? Mariam, yes. Mariam. Okay, great. Thank you so much for sharing, Mariam. Anyone you. else here who wants to share anything? Uh, hi. So Hi, I, I had a very, very brief introduction with EFT um, long back. I was going through mm -hmm. something and at that time I was, I was um, attending these um, um, holistic uh, therapy sessions. And in one of those right. sessions, uh, EFT was there. So that's how I got introduced to it. And yeah. I used it at the time when I was in severe anxiety. Um, mm -hmm. right now I know of it, but I haven't used it, uh, in a few months, uh, in a lot yeah. of months. So yeah, okay. but I, I do still remember some of it. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much for sharing Artha. It's, it's great. You all, you all already have a little bit of a background about it. And even if you don't, it's fine. I'm going to really take you uh, through the base today. And anything, anyone else who wants to share their own understanding of EFT or any prior experience? Or are we good to go ahead? Perfect. Okay. So uh, let me introduce self. I am Mitali Akarte. 
I uh, academically I have a master's in uh, applied psychology and professionally I am a hypnotherapist a clinical hypnotherapist a regression therapist and I absolutely absolutely love uh, combining the techniques and modalities that I love and uh, creating an, an approach which is very unique to a person uh EFT is like i said it's it's a technique which is very close to my heart i i was first introduced to it approximately 10 years back and i was so impressed i was so awed by uh, its simplicity and it is its effectiveness and i wanted to learn more about it and i did i attended a lot of classes attended a lot of summits and conferences and uh, you know workshops and every time every time i myself experienced a profound shift i saw others doing just that i started realizing that life can be very simple you know than what we make uh, make it seem to be uh, for ourselves and for others so this specially is to the simplicity of eft so let's understand more about it um, i had written a blog a uh, little while ago and uh, i call eft as the little perfect little black dress that women ought to have it is that important uh, for our uh, emotional wardrobe i would say because life keeps happening to all of us and we need a tool with us to be self reliant and that is exactly what eft does and more eft is a full fledged therapeutic model by itself it we can use eft we can even do regression purely with eft and they work wonders so let's start understanding what it really is it's this technique was actually uh, it was developed by gary craig in 1995 and this works on the energy people so we have our energy body we have the life force running through us and the pathways of that life force is the energy meridian and whenever we have whenever uh, anything happens to us that that uh, that gives us tension or uh, any kind of an emotion that uh, we we are not able to get over uh, appar- apparently perceived negative emotions so to say that creates a block in our energy flow and that block stays over time and it starts to manifest itself emotionally so that we have more of the negative emotions like fear anger guilt worry tension and so on also it starts to manifest itself physically and that is why we have diseases we have different diseases as a manifestation of the stuck energy in the meridian now in case we really want deep results then we got to do something about this these blockages in energy meridian we need to restore the imbalances that are occurring at an energetic level in us now throughout history we have many different techniques uh, that did just that and one of the examples was acupuncture using needles to do exactly that so if you all know or have heard of acupuncture they use needles at specific meridian points to relieve pain or to relieve any kind of a distress that is happening now instead of using needles and case we combine it with modern psychology what we get is a psychological uh, so to say acupuncture without the needle and that is exactly what is done with the help of emotional freedom techniques with tapping so instead of using needle we tap our energy points that i'm going to uh, take you through today 
And as we tap and as we verbalize our problem in a very specific way, these emotions get relieved. The energy blocks get uh, sorted out. The imbalance gets restored. And that is when the disease can go away. That is when any emotional distress can go away. And this happens in a matter of minutes. And that is exactly why it's such a brilliant self-help technique. If done the right way, using the protocol that Gary Craig had established, it works wonders. So this is an evidence-based technique. It's clinically proven. There are tons of research uh, papers that are written. If you all can go and you can find many. And it's proven to be effective for anxiety, for uh, cravings, you know, when uh, you have weight issues, for cravings, for performance by uh, students during exams, uh, for PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and so on and so forth. And if asked me, anything under the sun that is disturbing you can be addressed with powerful techniques. So let's begin as to how it works. Like I said, it works on clearing the energy meridian with the help of tapping. With tapping, we follow the same protocol for anything that you want to work on. Okay, so I would really invite you to uh, tap with me, guys. So uh, we'll just start with the karate chop point. This is the karate chop point. Now you can use either of your hands. It's fine. It doesn't matter. So we start from here, just going through the tapping point. We'll come to uh, the issue and how to talk about the issue later. So this is the karate chop point. This is where we begin. Next, we have this eyebrow point. This is exactly the starting of your eyebrows. Again, you can use both your hands, either of your hands, it's fine. So this point, side of the eyebrow. And as you're tapping, already the energy starts to get cleared. It is that effective and it is that fast. Side of the eye, under the eye. And then as you're tapping, many times you will feel like, you know, there's a sigh coming like, that means it's already working. Or you may want to yawn. Okay, I have a question. Is this only healing the energy chakra or our body? How does it affect the other bodies? Yes, yes, Vida. Thank you so much for asking this. This starts with working on the energy uh, body. And with that, it influences the body, that is the causal body that we have, the emotional body, the astral body that is, and also the physical body. So its entry is the energy body, but its impact is on all the body. And that is why any kind of, emo any kind of problem you take, this will work on that be it a physical problem, be it, uh, be it an emotional problem, be it a thought level problem, like for example, uh, continuous negative thoughts, this will work on that. Okay, so under the eye and tap along, you're welcome. Under the nose. The chin point. So this is actually this which is above the chin and below lower lip. If you use two fingers, you will be able to cover that. No problem. Then we have the collar point, which is just perhaps, you know, a couple of inches from down the collar bone. So here. Again, you can use two fingers, three, four fingers. There's no limit as to how many times just to tap. Just go by your instincts and that's once again, the beauty of it, it's very forgiving. So 
it's okay if you skip a point it's okay it doesn't matter how many times you tap a point or not it will still work because you've already initiated the process then we have the underarm point which is actually where we have the bra strap for girls so it is here yeah so you can tap like this you tap like this up to you whatever is comfortable then we have the side of the thumb here so the outer side side of the index finger here the next finger now when it comes to the ring finger the energy point is on the opposite side so we are going with this flow but it's here so this time you have to either apply uh, tapping from below like that or just skip it up to you if you find it disturbing your flow it doesn't matter if you skip it but it's under the finger uh, the other side then we have the finger we come back to our original flow coming back to the karate chop point so we start from here and we end here followed by three deep breaths so you touch the center of your heart breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth one more time and one more this finishes one round of tapping so if we can do one more one more time we start from here eyebrows side of the eye under the eye under the nose in point collarbone underarm thumb point index finger middle finger ring finger opposite side little finger coming back to karate chop point and three deep breaths breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth That's right. I can see some yawning. That fails. What does it mean when one of the points start hurting while tapping? My underarm hurts when I tap. Yes, yes. So that's actually a sore point for a lot of us because a lot of our stress that gets accumulated is stored here. because of the cortisol levels that are go that are uh, growing inside us due to stress that is why it's so it's okay you can continue tapping now the tapping need not be very hard you know even it 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 has to be very gentle so if even if you do like a very gentle touch it will work 
so just allow yourself to find your exact uh, density of tapping with the body and eventually yes yes madam yes uh, i want want to know is it it is more effective if you do it for somebody or it is better if the uh, the person do it uh, himself yes so basically if you, what do you mean by doing it for someone like you take somebody else's hand and tap yeah. Yes, you you do. Yes, like I do for my kids. It's better to I do it, or it's better I just uh, watch them and I say do like me. Like yeah. So I either is fine. It doesn't matter as long as it's being tapped. Okay. Yeah. So with children, you know, it's okay to do it uh, yourself, and eventually, because they, it's a great self help technique. You can also learn to remember the points, and then they can do it themselves. Okay. Then. You, Ideally, in a for 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 example, in a session, what I do is I do the tapping myself, mm -hmm. and I ask the client to do it with me. So I am leading, and then the clients are following. Oh, okay, okay, yes. thank you. So that also works. You're welcome. Okay, so we are now uh, well versed with the flow of the tapping, right? Any questions? Before we go ahead, any doubts? All right. So we will now come to the five steps that you can learn for yourself and start doing it from today. Okay. So step number one, the issue. What exactly is troubling you today? be as specific as you can get so if you leave it vague for example uh, you know oh i have a lot of stress it will work but it will work better if you specify i am stressed out because of a presentation that i have to give tomorrow so this is a very specific issue that we are talking about so talk about your issue that's step one. narrow down your issue from a very vague a general thing to a more specific problem and then check with yourself how is this making me feel so i have a presentation tomorrow i am stressed about it it's making me feel anxious so you see it's a very good way of even getting a lot of clarity about what we are feeling So at the same time, it's educating us about the different emotions that we can have and we are having, and that's actually a pretty great step because a lot of us don't really focus on what we are feeling. So ask yourself, what am I feeling with this issue? Oh, I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling fearful. I'm feeling um lonely. It can be anything. that is the first step what is the problem and how is it making you feel then since we are being very specific here we are also being specific about the intensity of this problem the level of this problem so that it's easier for us to keep a track of it as we keep doing these rounds okay so the second step then is how intensely am i feeling this on a scale of 0 to 10 so it can be a 7 it can be an 8 it can be a 10 it depends it's a very subjective experience so what is the problem how it's making you feel and how would you rate it on a scale of 0 to 10 in terms of its intensity and we have to make a statement of it right right now we rehearsed the point that was just tapping eft involves tapping along with verbalizing your issue in a particular way that is the third step which is the setup statement so there are two types of this statement one even though i am stressed out about the presentation tomorrow 
I still love and accept myself totally and completely. So there are two parts of it. Even though I have this problem, I still love and accept myself totally and completely. This is the setup statement. And this statement we will repeat three times tapping on the karate joint. So going ahead with the example that I gave, even though I have this, yes, it would be great if you can join me. Just repeat after me. Even though, even though I have a presentation tomorrow, I have a presentation tomorrow, and I am very anxious. And I am very anxious. Eight or ten. Eight or ten. I still love and accept myself. I still have to accept myself. I love totally completely. Totally and completely. Even though I am very anxious about my presentation tomorrow. Even though I'm very anxious about my presentation tomorrow. I still love and accept myself. I still have to expect myself. With the anxiety, without the anxiety. With the anxiety, without the anxiety. Even though I am so, so anxious. I'm so, so anxious. I still love and accept myself. Still love and accept myself. Totally and completely. Totally and completely. So this is an unconditional acceptance of our own self, which is very difficult and is a great tool that can align us to this. This statement we will repeat three times tapping on the karate chop point and this is called the setup stink. Now the beauty of EFT is even though you're saying random statements that you don't even resonate with, it will still heal something in you that needs to be healed. And that's really the beauty of it. It doesn't matter whether I'm talking about a presentation, I'm talking about, uh, you know, a travel or whatever, even if it's a different emotion. I will feel better because even with that, my energy system is getting cured. The imbalances are automatically getting restored. So in the process, whatever needs to heal in me will get healed. And that is why it's amazing to do this in group because a problem can be anything, you know, for the demo. Every one of the audience will feel a shift. So that was the setup statement that we repeat three times. So remember, even though I have this problem, I still love and accept myself totally and completely. This we say three times. And then the fourth part, we start the tapping sequence. So we already have learned the different points now. We are going to start talking about the issue about the problem, bits and pieces of it. So I have done my setup statement three times. Now I will say, oh, this anxiety. So if you can just follow me, this anxiety. This anxiety. So much of anxiety. So much anxiety. It's killing me. It's killing me. My hands and feet are cold. My hands and feet are cold. I'm feeling so underconfident. What will others think of me? Why am I in this spot? So you, you see, whatever comes to your mind, just talk. Oh, this presentation. So much depends on it. This anxiety. Eight on ten anxiety. So much anxiety. What if I goof up tomorrow? Even though I am so anxious about my presentation tomorrow, I still love and accept myself totally and completely. Even though I have a presentation tomorrow. 
and I am anxious. I'm stressed. I choose to let this anxiety go. So you can also keep changing the second statement. It's okay. It has to be positive. That's it. Even though I am so stressed and anxious, I still open myself to let go of this anxiety. Three deep breaths. That's right. How are you guys feeling? Better. Lighter. <laughs> lighter. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what people say. I'm feeling lighter. And I'm sure you guys don't have a presentation tomorrow. So. <laughs> Still. <laughs> All right. So this was our fourth step. is the tapping sequence. Right? So we start with the issue. How does it make you feel? We give an intensity to it. So on a scale of 0 to 10, how intensely are you feeling it right now? We make the setup statement. Even though I'm feeling this, I still love and accept myself totally and completely. Then we go through the tapping point. Talking bits and pieces about our problems. Phrases, you know, need not be entire statements. It doesn't matter if they are not making sense. Because many times, if you're really, really anxious, you know, it's okay if you're not coherent. Doesn't matter. Now, finally, after we are done with one round, sip some water. That's a very good idea. So if you have water there, just go ahead and take a sip. It's okay if you don't have it. This helps us to release the toxins because now release is taking place, right? We are releasing the stress. We are releasing the anxiety. And water will help you flush all that. So whenever you're doing EFT on yourself, keep water ready. Now, coming to the final point final step i'll just wait for us to come yeah. great so the final step is to check the intensity of the the problem that you started so if it was 8 on 10 before how much is it now is it 5 on 10 is it 10 on 10 is it 2 on 10 every shift is a good news so you don't have to worry about it. You don't really feel pressured that, oh, it didn't go down. It's okay. Sometimes it may go up also if you hit the right chord. So it's fine. Check the intensity of the problem. And once again, start after having some water. So do as many rounds as needed. This is the step-by-step -step protocol of doing EFT. And finally, once your intensity comes to like a zero or one and you're, you're feeling good, now we have to anchor this positive feeling more. And that is when we introduce the last point, which is the top of the head. Now, we don't really use this for, so there are different ways of doing EFT, you know, there are many versions of it. It's better not to use this for negative tapping because this is crown chakra. So this is a very sensitive spot. So it's better that after you've released everything, now when you want to say positive statements or affirmations, then we use this because then you're anchoring the positivity from here. So then now we spoke, supposing it has come to one, or zero, and I'm feeling great about the presentation tomorrow. So naturally, what I started with, for example, the stress, the anxiety, 
I will feel the opposite. For example, I may feel calm. I may feel confident. I may feel at ease. I may feel peaceful. Whatever you're feeling, whatever is resonating with you, you use that. And this time, we directly start from top of the head. So I once again invite you all to join with me for positive tapping. We start from top of the head. Now, we don't have to use even though here because the problem is now released. So we will say, I'm feeling so confident. I am feeling so great. With the next stop, tapping point. So with every phrase, change the tapping point. I am so sure of myself for tomorrow. I know I've got it. All I have to do is just flow. And I know the universe has got my back. So I open myself to flow. And I flow with the flow of life. I open myself to my own talents. I open myself to my own greatness. I trust my gift. I love my gift. And I absolutely love it when I share this with others. And tomorrow is just that. It's me sharing my talents with others. So let me do what I was born to do and flow with the flow of life. Making my own little contribution every once in a while. I don't have to be scared for that. As I take my own position in the matrix of life, and I owe myself to just be. Now, whenever you feel great, this can go on as many times as you want, whatever is coming to you naturally. And then you're done. So, this is a complete a uh, step-step routine of EFT. So, yes, Artha. I have a question. So, yes. um, the, this is the sequence. Do we have to, I understand we have to start from this place or, or here, but do we have to end at, uh, you know, end the sequence or can we stop in between? Yes. So, basically, when you're talking, especially about the sequence, while you're verbalizing the issue, you have to keep going back to this, even though. Okay. But with positive tapping, it's okay. You, wherever you stop, it's fine. All right. Thanks. You will naturally feel that, you know, now I'm done. So it's okay. fine. You can just stop there. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me raise the steps. We have, we narrow down to a problem, a very specific problem, and how does it make us feel? We check the intensity of the problem. Mm -hmm. We set up a statement with, even though I have this problem, I still love and accept myself totally and completely. We go through the tapping sequence. We verbalize our issue in bits and pieces, tapping through the point. And finally, we check the intensity again. Once the intensity is down to zero or one, we introduce positive thing. That's the end. And there, we introduce the top of the head point. 
and tap through the rest of the points till you feel that you're ready to close the session for yourself. This is the simple, effective, powerful EFT. It works wonders. I have done it with infants. I have done it with uh, kids. I have done it with even animals. It is so powerful and you can see the shifts like that. The tapping with the animals are the same? Uh, how, how do you tap? Where? It's, yeah, it's a little different. Perhaps it's a class for a different time. Okay. But it's, yeah, you can, for now, you can just do much with animals. It will still work. Okay. Yeah. So it is, it is that powerful. And um, like I said, it doesn't matter what you are saying. As long as you're tapping, the energy system is shifting. The great part is, even if, supposing you are at a public place and you can't really tap, you know, and something is happening, if there's a panic attack or something like that, it would be great if you tap and you're able to talk it out loud because that's the best. Otherwise, it's okay to even imagine that you're tapping. It will still work well. Instead of saying the statements out loud, say them in your own mind. It will still work. Because it's energy. Energy has, does not need to be touched. Even if you intend that you are touching it, it will still work. So this is just the basic uh, protocol of doing EFT. Of course, deeper work with EFT is needed for of issues that we have wherein we have to go to the root cause of the problem and just like we have different modalities like we have regression therapy we have hypnotherapy even with EFT we can address the root problem of sorry the root cause of any problem very quickly and heal that energetically and also at other levels that is the actual deep work So, for example, if there's a lot of weight gain that is happening, perhaps the root cause is in your childhood. Perhaps someone felt unloved and substituted food for love. All that can be addressed so we can go really deep. And the actual deep work is addressing the root cause. That's, that comes very easily with EFT. So that's a great application uh, for it. It's great to use in groups. It's great because then you are really hit, uh, hitting the core, you know, the, the root of the issue that people have and it works great. You can also, if you all are open to doing uh, affirmations, if you do, you have your set of affirmations that you do every day. If you do that with tapping, it will, it will work better. So these are different ways of using EFT in your daily life. And I wish you all the best with it. Thank you. So I yes, have just a last you. question. Yes, for the now I am open for questions. So yes, let's Thank discuss. You. For yeah. the affirmation, so we just use the tapping uh, on the crown chakra, exactly. not the karate show. Yeah, so we can start with here and then we can yeah. include this as we go. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. What else? I'm open to questions. Anything you want to discuss or ask? Thank you for, for that beautiful uh, demonstration. <laughs> I really love it. Uh, I'm also a student of hypno integrated hypnotherapy, and uh, we have learned. Uh, their basic and then the ENT and uh, we were well, personally I like the uh, ENT because it just gives us a lot of and what we uh, what I have learned is that the correct child is actually the, the uh, like uh, Vida the I'm not able to hear you very uh, clearly uh, you know if you can just repeat what you're saying your voice is coming and going. 
sorry, no worries. And you know what? I will just write write my question. It's okay. Now I can hear you clearly. So oh, okay. That's me. Yeah. I want to just ask, you know, is it okay if you just use the karate chop? I've learned that uh, this actually goes. Okay, right. okay. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not able to hear. Please go ahead and write the question. <laughs> Meanwhile, any other clarification or question to be addressed? Anything you want to share? Are you feeling different since we started? Yes. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I was tired and now I feel uh, resourced. <laughs> Resourceful. Oh, great. That's nice. Is it true that the karate chop connects all the points to the subconscious mind? So, yes, karate chop point is a very, very uh, powerful uh, point, and that is why we use this exactly because any kind of inherent block, subconscious block that we have by setting up the statement, you know, that way. Uh, even though and uh, I still love and accept myself, it takes care of that subconscious block that we have. So this is a very powerful uh, point. That's why we use it uh, for the inner child therapy, in fact. Now I understand more uh, because it, um, instead of using the induction, the normal induction to go under hypnosis, we use the EFT. Right. Uh, Yes, to to break and uh, the the critical filter and go yes. into the inner child therapy. Yeah. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So this is a powerful point, and in fact, this uh, then uh, even this is a powerful point. Knees, knees are also uh, you know points that you can tap. Though it's not there in this protocol, but if you're somewhere and you keep tapping knees, that will also work. Oh, how sweet. Thank you so much, Sangeeta, for your wonderful, wonderful remarks. It's my pleasure, actually. It's my pleasure that uh, to be here with all of you. Under the collarbone is where your thymus gland is right so i will uh i will not really get into the details of all this uh the point being vida that irrespective of what each point stands for and you don't have to know about it it will still work so there's a lot of science behind this every point stands for something for a particular a uh, uh, meridian point but for this we are not going there so that's a very different line of thought and this is a very different line of thought okay. you're welcome great any other questions All right. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I, I really wish that you use this to heal yourself. It's a great self-help technique and all the best and good luck. Thank you very much for your thank time. You. For You're sharing welcome. This. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.